And now our Juice and Java set is not the only one in the Christmas spirit. The state of New York is full of holiday cheer as well. Juice and Java correspondent Gabrielle Caracciolo is actually live in Seneca Falls at day two of this year's It's a Wonderful Life Festival. Gabrielle. Thanks guys, and while Seneca Falls may ring a bell for some as the birthplace of the women's rights movement, for fans of classic Christmas movies, this little town in central New York has another claim to fame. That's right, I am here at day two of the It's a Wonderful Life Festival in Seneca Falls, New York, the town that calls itself the real Bedford Falls, and I found out what similarities exist between the two towns. The classic Christmas film, It's a Wonderful Life, debuted 72 years ago. But when the now popular movie was first released, it was a box office failure. When t television shows were looking to show theme-related you know, Christmas movies and that kind of thing, It's a Wonderful Life was perfect because somebody in the copyright office forgot to renew the copyright, so it was in the public domain. So that's why in the 70, late 70s, early 80s, it was on all the time. Mm -hmm. Leading actress Donna Reed's daughter Mary Owens spends the holiday season going to events to celebrate her mom and the classic film. Among these, the It's a Wonderful Life Festival in Seneca Falls, New York. It's my mom's gone. It's kind of, it sounds strange to say, but it's a nice way to celebrate the holidays, you know, with and without her. Residents of Seneca Falls have argued for years that producer Frank Capra was inspired after visiting the town and learning the story of a local young man who died saving a woman who had jumped from a bridge. There's a plaque on the bridge dedicated to his act of heroism, and that plaque was here when Frank Capra was here. In the short story, The Greatest Gift, that the movie is based on, George never jumps from the bridge. We believe that Capra was inspired by the story of Antonio Veracali. This is the bridge that ties real-life Seneca Falls to fictional Bedford Falls. And in an increasingly popular part of the festivities, people can add ties to the bridge of their own by adding bells to commemorate loved ones. Similar to the bridge in Paris where people put padlocks, we're hoping to fill the bridge with bells. Last year, approximately 15,000 people traveled from all over the country for festival activities like hearing from cast members, watching the film, and participating in a movie trivia night. And the festival will conclude tomorrow with the It's a Wonderful Run, a 5K race that starts on that bridge right behind me. And while we'll never know for sure whether or not Seneca Falls is the real Bedford Falls in creator Frank Capra's mind, there is certainly no shortage of Christmas spirit here. Reporting live in Bedford, I mean Seneca Falls, for the Juice and Java Holiday Special, I'm Gabrielle Caracciolo.